new information from the National Weather Service like we brought you at the top of the hour. An EF1 tornado hit Greene County just to the east of Monroe near Judah and Albany. And that tornado that you saw the damage there near Evansville, that damage has been rated from an EF2 tornado. So that's a, called a significant tornado. That's, and these are the first tornadoes to ever touch down in Wisconsin in the month of February ever. So quite a historic night that they had. And thankfully they had some pleasant weather to clean up as we had temperatures again above average today. So temperatures in the 40s across southern Wisconsin, 50s across much of northern Illinois. We have since cooled off just a little bit. Just Sycamore hanging on to the 50s, though upper 40s across much of the area in parts of southern Wisconsin near Galena cooling down into the upper 30s at this hour because they've had more clouds in that area throughout the day. As you can see exact track satellite showing that persistent cloud cover across that area. So they had cooler temperatures throughout the day. They didn't quite get into the 50s like a lot of us did here in northern Illinois. So over the rest of the evening, though, temperatures will quickly begin to cool down, already getting to near 40 by 8 o'clock. That, that is thanks to clearer skies overhead. The winds are also going to be cool, uh, calming down a little bit, so wind chills not too bad off the actual temperatures. So a pretty nice evening up ahead, especially considering for this time of year. Tonight getting down to about 29 degrees for a low, just below 30 for most. Some more clouds may come in that may last into very early parts of tomorrow morning, but otherwise we'll be dealing with a pretty nice weekend up ahead. We'll see much more sunshine on Saturday, but temperatures aren't going to warm up that much. That's because we do have colder air coming in from the west, so temperatures are going to struggle to reach 40 for most of us. Wind chills staying in those lower 30s it looks like. And then heading into Sunday though, similar temperatures again are right around 40 for highs. We'll just see some more cloud cover throughout the day, though by the evening, though, we should begin to clear things up. Not only to a pretty nice week up ahead, but with these changes, though, we're a little bit closer to reality because there's little wobbles in the jet stream now, and you can see there is now going to be a trough developing across the central U.S., and that is going to bring in some cooler temperatures. Initially, we're not going to see that big of a difference. We'll still be above average for this time of year, but especially as we head towards midweek and then especially towards late in the week, that's when we start to nose into more cooler than average temperatures it looks like. So as we head into your seven day forecast, we see plenty of sunshine, highs in those lower 40s, upper 30s, and really only chances for rain or snow Wednesday night into Thursday, but those are pretty low chances. But there you see Friday starting to cool things off. That's the trend that we see in your most accurate 10 day forecast too. And there we see the uh, highs maybe getting back below average potentially, but only just below average. Our average highs in the low 30s, so still going to be very nice weather for this time of year, just not going to be the 50s that we enjoyed this week.